Hi y'all, good morning. It is back, what day is it? Well, today is Tuesday, January 5th. We are here in Colorado at the RV park and getting ready to hit the road today, heading to Louisiana. We're gonna make it about a three day road trip, about 18 and a half hours. We are going to get our RV prepped and ready to hit the road. And we're just gonna bring you guys along with the steps and how we pack our fifth wheel up and get ready. Let me take you inside and show you what that's all about. Okay, so as you can see, we have stuff everywhere because we've been here at the RV park. But when it's time to get going and hit the road, everything that is out on these counters needs to be put away or else it'll fall over while we're driving. What we're gonna show you is how we put everything away ready for road days. in those things. Okay, so this is my one and only job that I am assigned to from Cody because I'm clumsy and he doesn't trust me with much else. But, to take these off. Oh, the flip wheel was already moving. That was scary. Oh no! Oh, oh shit! See, this is why he doesn't trust me with anything else. <laughs> okay, my job is done. All 
All right, well, here we go. We are all done and packed up. So day one, six and a half hours. Here we go. Up. <laughs> destination on day one we are in somewhere texas we are at lake meredith recreational area i do know that we're gonna stay here for the night microwave us some supper cody is doing the generator right now are you done in the pickup oh yeah did i leave the door open yes oh. Anyways, Cody is doing the generator. I'm gonna cook us or microwave us some supper. I meal prep some food before we hit the road. That way we would be prepared. We don't have any running water because we weren't able to fill up our fresh water tank before we left as unfortunately where we bought our RV from, we got to put the cat back on our fresh water line. We stopped at some hardware store prior to getting here, got some little cat thing that we could figure out that fit so it works. So. Tomorrow morning when we wake up here, there is a water and dump station. So we will be stopping there to fill up on some fresh water. And tomorrow will be day two on the roads. Trying to do our stuff and hang out for the night. So I'm not gonna film anything, but we'll see y'all tomorrow. It's just so shit yes i know i'm wearing the same sweater as i did yesterday ever it's comfortable so don't judge me anyways we stopped so we could microwave us some food and truck stop right now we got about six hours or a little less than six hours until our final destination louisiana we had installed before we hit the road about a month ago the extra gas tank in the bed of our truck and we just noticed because we stopped to fill up some fresh water and dump as well here at the gas station and it's free is leaking so it must have like a faulty valve or something going on it so it doesn't fill up our gas tank right now but 
We only got about 500 miles left until our destination, so we're gonna hang tight and hope we make it there just fine, and we'll figure that all out when we get to Louisiana. So we're gonna eat some supper real quick, and then we're gonna keep trucking along. We are just feeling fine. We're not tired at all, so finish up this trip. We are also in Paris, Texas. Not sure if I mentioned that. Yay! We made it, puppies. <laughs> well, almost made it all the way there, I guess. Hey, darling. <laughs> 13 hours done. Yay. Now let's go set up a generator. Okay. Let's go do it. And it's raining. Here's our third update for today's day two travel to Louisiana. A little over 13 hours of being on the road. We are done. We trooped it out as long as we could. We are at a gas station. Mm. At many or no. We're at a gas station somewhere in Louisiana. I don't know how to pronounce the name, so I'm not going to say it. We're done for the night and we only got about three hours left until our final destination. See y'all tomorrow. Bye. Also be a weirdo and go for it. So I'm pretty sure you're gonna take a nap, but it's cool. Mm, no, I'm a trooper and a champion. I got this. You're something. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Cody is carrying the dogs into the truck because the ground is full of mud. <laughs> oh my god. That's so funny. <laughs> that accent was just the words hello puppet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, what's up? Today is day three on our travels to our destination in Louisiana. We have two hours. We got about three or two hours left. We got two hours. To two go. hours left until our destination, which is in Prairieville, Louisiana. Last night, we pulled over to stop after being on the road for a little over 13 hours. We stopped at a gas station because the truck stop was full. We slept for about two and a half hours and at 5.30 in the morning, the gas station attendant knocked on our door and asked us to move. So we ended up packing our camper up and hit the road by about 6.15. We decided to drive for about an hour and we pulled off around 7.15 or so because we were too sleepy and then passed out. So here we are at a gas station. We already had breakfast this morning, already loaded the dogs up in the truck and we're about to close our slides up and get everything ready for the road in two hours and we'll be there so we'll show you guys our drive for the next two hours and show you guys when we get to our destination bye
After a little over 22 hours of being on the road, we are in Prairieville, Louisiana. Yay! Back in the camper on his friend's driveway now. Gonna be doing some mooch docking for about three weeks. The real test is backing up and parking your fifth wheel properly. Thank God I'm not the one that has to do any of this shit. You're good. Back up just a little bit and then we'll straighten you back thing. out, yeah. That's right. Okay. The little parking assistant. The things you have to do when you're parking your camper. I'm just gonna go up and cut it. You gotta cut some branches so it doesn't scrape the top of the RV. <laughs> Ooh. There you go. Nice. <laughs> All right, so we are parking and setting up. So basically doing the same task that we did when we we're breaking down to hit the road. These go on. Oops, have this on the wrong way. Shit, I can't do this. I can't manage any task that I'm giving, I guess. Please be the right way. There we go. All right, so we tighten these bad boys. Oh no, I'm not doing this right again. What am I doing? There we go. Nope, that's getting loose. 